So here's the masterpiece of Japanese engineering carburetor. And I ordered some spare jets, some positive measurements for the distance for the manifold. By the way, this is the uh, original BMW manifold I bought. I don't see many folds, but this is how it's called. <clears throat> so I know I can't fit it in because it's too tight actually for the bin carburetor, but I know it goes up to here into the carburetor, so I will try to get the distance to the cylinder. Like this, just qualitatively, I will do it more properly with the measurement instrument. When I have to attach it to the uh, Mikuni, I will have to cut off around here. But as I stated, I will do more proper measurements than with the uh, proper instrument. The Mikuni has four connections to the outside world, which unfortunately are all incompatible with the BMW environment. The most difficult part is the uh, connection to the cylinder head, for which I need a special part, because it's really completely different. The input has a diameter of 43 millimeters instead of 40. The cable enters on a rather high level. I'm not sure if I can use this rubber here and the cable length I need to check. Fuel enters here on a very high level and very close to the petcock. These tubes here are, if I understand correctly, a breather pipe for the flow chamber and an overflow. A definite advantage of the Mikuni is the uh, central float chamber which keeps the fuel level constant. If you tilt the bing, either you float the Venturi or you starve it. Some short remarks about the bing carburetor. This one is working okay, -ish, but I really have problems with cold start, especially in winter time. And the problem is that you get spare parts for these old carburetors, like jets and, and gaskets, but you don't get this case anymore. And it's getting brittle and worn out. And uh, the big issue is the, uh, the valve seat here, which is a bit loose. It, it moves and, and it's very difficult to, uh, to repair. So even if you turn on this screw, 
very fast. It still, <coughs> sorry, it still wiggles around and uh, isn't perfectly tight. And this is a typical problem with these carburetors. Now I'm back from my friend Markus, who cut the BMW part down to size with his magic laugh. Was that a thumbs up? Hmm. Difficult to do without any thumbs, eh? No. Now I discovered yet another discrepancy where the BMW piece has exactly 26 millimeters in diameter. The Mikuni comes out from 26 millimeters in the center to almost 28 at the uh, connecting plane, resulting in a step. I don't think it matters much, but I will try to add a bit of smoothing on the BMW part. I file a little funnel here, so maybe it's a bit better than just the steep step between these two parts. And I also filed away all these crests from casting here. Now we have to get some tubes for this construction. Let's check on the internet. Oops, sorry old chap, old habit. Pretty good spelling corrector. Um, I think this is what we need. While I'm still waiting for parts to be delivered, maybe you can join me on a bumpy ride with the old bing. Set for the needle seems to be third position from top. So I will start with this uh, variation. Kuni provides this clever little plate which keeps uh, the, the cable and the needle in position. Like so. More mail order magic. Now it seems I have all the parts together for the final assembly. Now it's getting exciting. Hey! So now the old carp is gone. First step I fiddled in the uh, piston. Does it work? Yes. Seems okay. New basket. Provisional fuel pipe. Pretty ugly, I must say. Just for testing. So turn on the fuel. Blub, blub. Okay, filled up. Mm, now for testing. Do we have sign of life? Mm. 
many kicks later and with a choke pushed in. Experiments outside. I had a bit of hiccups at low speeds, so I will change the pilot jet from a size 20 to 25 and check for improvements. The jet is buried in the float chamber, but with a bit of tilting it can be replaced in situ. Needs a delicate screwdriver though. By the way, the sweaty looking cylinder means that we had a longer, full throttle, steep uphill trip. It looks worse than it is and dries off with normal driving. Although I bought a new rubber connector, the original BMW hose fits nicely here. Um, I noticed that the hex balls, which are normally used here, scratch the rubber, so I replaced them by these Allen bolts and I cut off a dedicated wrench for this one, a dedicated key. I need still to buy shorter clamps. Another test ride. This is my pin ultimate take, otherwise the video will get too long. Idle is now fine. Now the obligatory brake fluid test. I think it passes. Of course, always revert to the old Bing setup to keep the proper appearance if required. I even have the old original box in which I bought it over 30 years ago.